Shout out one, give all praise, y'all, by Shemuel, shout out by Shemuel Kakadash, honors Elvis, apostles, man, truth on down, regard the truth of knowledge, and the wadi y'all, by Shemuel, shout out for putting the spirit of the Elvis, apostles, man, and truth on down, regard the truth of knowledge, so we know this truth of knowledge, and uh, call y'all, y'all, call all y'all, y'all, by Shemuel, shout out by Shemuel Kakadash, give all praise, y'all, by Shemuel, shout out by Shemuel Kakadash, scriptures relating to hard times a little bit. James 1 and 12, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, tried goes to be tested, man. That's the trials and tribulations. That's part of that being tried and tested. He shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him, man. Right? Romans 8 and 18, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. So the suffering at this time, you know, compared to ultimately when it's all said and done are the things that, that the Lord had promised. The scripture says the one that promised to them that love him in James 1.12, previous, previous verse. <clears throat> so... So the suffering must come, you know, it was Acts 14 and 22 for must suffer into the next kingdom, man. So to the next kingdom is much suffering must happen, man. You know, that's how the Lord designed this movie, man. You know, I skip uh, Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am, I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, and I will help thee, and I will uphold thee with thy right hand of my righteousness, man. So trust in the scripture talks about Psalms talk about he has angels in camp about a camp around them around about them for protection, man. You know what I mean? You know, Psalms 34. So and part of that is knowing the name, man. So that name is very important, believe it or not. Um, 831 of uh, Romans. What shall we say then to these things if God be for, be for us, who can be against us? And the truth uh, relating to, um, they don't do uh, anything they do against the truth is actually for the truth, I'm paraphrasing. Um, so anything they do is actually, you know, for the benefit of the truth, whether negative or not whether directly or indirectly and all is designed anyway by the lord anyway because he controls both both sides to do and operate accordingly to this this movie be careful for nothing but when everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request which are your prayers through that request be made known into the lord man peace in God, which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Hamashiach, Yahweh Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be virtue, if there be any praise, think of these things. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose, man. Psalms 50 and uh, 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. In the day of trouble, that means knowing that name in that day of trouble, man. So you have to know that name, man. And a specific name, how about Shem Yoshai, man? Whether people want to believe it or not, you know. And that time and that day, Lord willing, we'll find out, man. You know what I mean? So, whether it's whether true or false, man. Because a lot of people say the name is not important. Well, we all have a name, for example, just hypothetically, from a carnal aspect. If you call somebody, if someone calls you other than what you are, you're not going to respond. So how much more of God, man? So the Lord has a, a proper name just like we have a proper name, man. 
That's just common sense, bro. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Mashiach, the Father of mercy, is the God of all comfort. That's Psalm of 2 Corinthians first uh, 1 3 1 4. Who comfort us through all our tribulation, which are the trials and tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. John 16 and 33, these things that I have spoken unto you that are that in me ye might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation. That goes to the trials and tribulations. You're going to have tribulation. You're going to suffer much. You're going to go through certain things, man. You know what I mean? Especially certain people that it was designed for to suffer in the, from the beginning, man. The next kingdom is not going to be. You're just going to go in there and that's it, man. You have to suffer for much stuff, man. Lord designed this this way, man. <clears throat> These things I have spoken unto you that in, that ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I will overcome the world. <clears throat> so the Lord has overcome the, over the world. <coughs> Excuse me. Through his only begotten son, using his only begotten son to overcome the world. <clears throat> and the Lord in um, Deuteronomy 31 and 8. And the Lord in the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. That's on Deuteronomy 31 and 8. The Lord will perfect, will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercies, O Lord, endure forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. James 1 and 2 and 1 and 3. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into different temptations. Well, scripture talks about uh, take it cheerfully when thou brought down to a low estate when I come to serve the Lord uh, prepare thy soul for temptation man. it don't always feel good it's supposed not feel good you know what I mean but that's part of what has to be regarding um, you know the spiritual journey man you know what I mean you have to you have to go through certain things man that's that's this is the Lord's movie that's how he designed it man My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into different temptations. Know this, that in the trying of your faith, work in patience. So your patience, which is enduring, suffering, tolerating, works your faith, man. The scripture talks about woe to you lose patience, man. You know what I mean? That's an um, Sirach. So part of this is having that patience, man. You know? And this is not, this is not going to be for everybody, man. You know what I mean? That's why the small have to be the bear, the burden bearer for the many, man. That's why only a little bit of number, which is that remnant, um, is picked to, to pick the call to do this, to bear the burden for the collective nation. You know, just like Yahweh had to bear the burden for the nation of Israel. Now the nation of Israel within the small remnant of the nation of Israel had to bear the burden for the, the greater multitude of the nation of Israel starting with those who are chosen relating to the hopeful calls the hopeful elect man so they had to bear the burden of the of the nation pretty much you know um, being that response you know that responsible you know what I mean so basically that chain of command has been trickled down to the nation of Israel through the remnant like how I should bear the burden for the nation of Israel now the smaller part of the upper echelon of that smaller remnant will have to bear the burden for for the rest of you know the multitude of the nation man starting with the hopeful elect whoever those are who are or whoever those men women are on earth man the men specifically man because the lord the tabernacle of men is dealing the lord is dealing with the tabernacle of men man as it states in uh, revelations man So 
Titty. Um, Psalm 62 and 2. And he he only is my rock and salvation. He is my defense. And, he, and I shall not be greatly moved. So basically, in the end of the day, through the trials and tribulations, having faith and having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yashad, man. And many, there's a few videos looking at talking about um, individuals going through different things through that suffering and tri trials and tribulations. You know, variety of things individuals and collectively going through. You know what I mean? I was one, two videos looking at relating to homelessness, for example. Talking about uh, individuals, possibly homelessness being in the truth. Or any other, you know, that's part of that trial and tribulation or any other situation that individual may be going through. Pretty much still pushing to the best of your abilities through the different trials and tribulations. That's part of that, the trials and tribulations, man. You know what I mean? I'm doing it to the best of your ability, man. Is it easy? No. But it has to, you know, that's part of what it has to be, man. You know what I mean? So, um... And there's men that go through certain things, especially in the truth. They have to quietly go through it, man. And that's part of that, bearing that burden, bearing that cross, as Scripture says, man. Bearing that cross is that burden. The trials and tribulations relating to the, um, uh, of, of that specific, um, of your specific lot that you had to deal with, man. Whatever it may be, man. Whatever it may be. Homelessness was, for example, being uh, homeless or in the truth was just an um, example. But many uh, others going through different things, health issues, mental issues, psychological issues, emotional issues, different things. That's part of the infirmities, man. That's part of the infirmities relating to, um, you know, um, the um, part, part of the infirmities, whether well, mental, physical, emotional, psychological, you know what I mean? They have to bear that out. In, in a matter of speaking, it's pretty much those infirmities are forms of curses and demons, that are displayed in different forms, different levels, man. But into some individuals actually have issues, man. So that's part of the curses. That's part of the curses. And that's part of, you know, relating to the punishment, man. Relating to a specific people that have to go through, man. Because um, their disobedience, was the scripture says, um, we suffer because of our sins. Why we suffer because of our sins? Because we disobey the Lord. So a, a part of that consequence that we have to suffer for sinning is these curses and different forms of punishment that the Lord will use as a form of punishment, man. And really, it goes deeper. We were meant to sin even though we spoke not sin. We were never supposed to sin in the first place. We always supposed to obey the Lord, but we had to sin so prophecy be fulfilled like it's supposed to be in the scriptures, man. So Israel will have to go off and, you know, they have to be in the lowest state. And to get into the next kingdom, be worthy of that, much suffering has to happen, as scripture says. You know what I mean? So the nation of Israel will have to suffer much things, man. The curses are just an example of a uh, consequence of, of their disobedience. But before the curses, man, the curse, you know, before the curses, they would... Uh, they were disobedient anyway, you know what I mean? It was already predestinated that a majority of the people would would be a certain way from the beginning. That's how the Lord set it up, man. You know, then a great majority, the two-thirds, would have to be uh, an unrighteous sacrifice. And the remnant would have to be, would be a potential worthy sacrifice, man. So, but, but the majority of Israel would have to be predestined for unrighteous sacrifice, man. And a smaller amount of Israel, a very small amount, because very small remnant, would be worthy for sacrifice. Be worthy hope, for a hopeful sacrifice, man, in a matter of speaking. So it was already predestined for the Lord. This is the Lord's movie, man. As men in the truth always said, this is the Lord's movie. He designed it this way. So why, why, the question is why, why we have to go through these things? Because that's, that's how the Lord designed this, man. Whether we like it or not, man. We, he designed it this way. We have no control. We're human robots on earth, man. We're just human robots on earth. 
you know, move in it, operate as the Lord sees. Scripture talks about uh, man's goings are not a Lord, so how can he understand his own way? So we just operate at, in the direction that the Lord has set forth, man. Whether good or bad, or whatever happens, that was meant to happen, man. Because it's all, all, all of it in the end of the day is all pre, predestinated, preordained anyway. By Yahweh Bashim Yashah, either way, man. So, this was just a few scriptures. I um, hope this, um, because the curses, lot like I was a video, um, a lot of people make light of the curses, man. They don't mean certain things. They don't mean certain. First of all, the curses are are designated for a certain people. It will affect them whether in a good way or affect them in a bad way. You know what I mean? And it will still affect them even today. And those curses wouldn't be removed until the one who comes back, which is Yahweh Shai, which society calls ignorantly, um, you know, Jesus Christ. It's not his name. It's Yahweh Shai. He can remove those curses. No man can't re redeem you, man. So they can't buy you back. They can't get you out of the of these um, curses that the Lord has set from a spiritual aspect, and also implemented with uh, physical and other things, man, relating to these, um, you know, these um, forms of um, afflictions. You know what I mean? So the Lord is the only one that could set these curses off, man. Break them off of you. So they were put on for to a certain people, man, because they're disobedience, man. That's why scripture says uh, you suffer because of your sins, man. We suffer because of our sins. We suffer. We have to tolerate and endure our sins, man. Scripture talk about um, um, we have to bear the burden. We have to bear the, uh, the Lord's indignation because we uh, we sin against him, man. Micah 7 and um, um, 9. Let me see some. Now, relating to a certain chapter in Revelation 13. Yeah, Micah 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. So the Lord is pissed off. He's angry at the wicked every day. 7 and 11 of Psalms, man. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause. And execute judgment for me by through his son, man. So we have to wait on him, man. So that's that suffering and enduring, man. It sucks being in captivity, man. But it is, man. You got to put a poker face on, pretend everything's good when it's not, man. It ain't easy, man. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me and he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness man so we have to bear the indignation indignation is his righteous anger man this is righteous anger man he's pissed at, at this world he's pissed at Esau being in power he's pissed at the wicked you know they're in power but you know the Lord is a balanced power he, he even allowed the wicked to be in a position of power that's how fair of a God he is man because everything has its time and season. He could ask these three and one, man. Even the wicked have to have their time and season, man. This is their time, man. Um, Laid to the different temptations. I forgot to look that up earlier. Different temptations are the things that we have to deal with. Now, it comes in many different forms. Different temptations means different kinds. Examples. Tempted to lie, cheat, steal, commit adultery, mur uh, murder, and various other things, man. Basically, things that's going to oppose you specifically. That's going to be um, used um, by a person placing things related to spiritual and carnal matters, man. Spiritual things, man. When I come to serve the Lord, 
prepare thy soul to temptation, man. Different temptations, all different, different temptations, internally, externally, yourself, outside external matters, internal matters, outside entities, per person, place, and things being used, things you can't see, things you can see, strange, weird things that happen to certain people that don't happen to everybody else. He's a part of those different temptations, man. Now, relating to what I was going back to, relating to 13, uh, Revelation is 13. Talking about a specific relating to 13, 15 on down. A lot of people don't believe and that would be physical. I know Christians that um, don't believe in that. They think it's a mark. They, and they think it's not a, something physical, man. I know people personally, you know, don't believe in that. Um, they um, they believe it's um, it's not a physical thing. So when it actually is going to be a physical thing because really it's telling you it's a physical thing. The operative words are in something that's going to go into you. So that's pretty much physical. So when it's going to be a physical thing that's going to be mandatory, a lot of people are going to be surprised. A lot of people are going to be rattled by that, man. Because most people don't believe that anyway. You know what I mean? So they're going to be rattled. They're going to be, they ain't going to know how to, they ain't going to know how to deal, man. You know what I mean? So that's going to take a lot of people by surprise when they say scripture talks about when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. In this case, when when that when that becomes suddenly mandatory or unexpectedly suddenly mandatory, a lot of people are going to be taken by surprise, man. They're going to be caught off guard. There's people who've been teaching relating to that for years, man. But a lot of people are not going to believe in anyway. The Lord controls them anyway. The deceiving deceiver of his, man. As scripture says. So that's balance. So many people, it may not be many, it may not be meant for many to receive it or to believe it, man. So that's the selection, the election, and discretion of the, the Haobashim Yoshai, man. So this was just a, something quick through the spirit. I uh, hope it helps in some way. I want to give all praise. Yahweh Shem Yosha, Yahweh Shem Rakadash, Zayah Wolf Shalom.